The New York Film Festival, which is in full swing right now, got off to a very good start with the world premiere of Life of Pi from filmmaker Ang Lee. Based on a 2001 Canadian bestseller of the same name from author Jan Martel, it's been one of the more eagerly awaited films of the year. It's a picture that is many things. A magical adventure, an artful use of 3D and a truly international endeavour. It's the story of a young boy from Pondicherry in India heading to Canada on the high seas with his family and some animals. Shipwrecked, it ends up with just the boy, Pai, and a Bengal tiger left in a lifeboat. Together they survive for more than 200 days. This fantastical story was first chronicled in the best-selling book. Now it's a film. The journey on, this, on, this, on the ocean uh, is in incredible. It, it, not only is the, the detail is that's attractive, that's fascinating, but um, it's about create illusion. So that's the challenge. On screen for half the film is the 19-year-old Indian actor who plays the teenage Pi. He had no previous acting experience. 3,000 had auditioned for the part that became his. He finds Pi a compelling young man. He's really complex, he's really curious about things, he finds ways to do things which a normal person wouldn't be able to. I think he's really strong inside of him, which is what kept him going through, through the journey. And he has this uh, everlasting desire to find the, you know, the, the seed of faith, something really deep inside. In the story, the audience is offered two different explanations of what really happened to Pi on the high seas. One requires an embrace of faith. The subject matter of faith is, is something you cannot prove. If it's proven, then it's not faith. So I hope people watching the movie, they open the door for discussion with their beloved ones to each other about what storytelling and faith mean to us. It is not an overtly religious film, but religious themes are evident. Pi embraces three separate religions simultaneously, Christianity, Hinduism and Islam. In many ways, the film puts audiences in touch with a soft spirituality or religiosity. I think this may be one of the reasons why the book did so well, because it was a novel that spoke about religion, but not in fundamentalist terms, uh, not in, in, in one single religious terms, which is why I had Pi practice three, because I, I wasn't interested in the anthropology of religion, I was interested in, in the practice of faith. So I think it struck a note with people who are intrigued in looking at that aspect of the world, getting beyond the material part of existence. Life of Pi is an unusual endeavor. It is a Hollywood studio film with little trace of U.S. involvement. Indeed, British actor Rafe Spall was brought in to replace Hollywood star Tobey Maguire in a small role because Ang Lee reportedly wanted an entirely international cast. It may be the most... Um, I guess I would coin a phrase, indigenously international film that I can think of coming out of Hollywood. It's entirely international. It has a Taiwanese director, an Indian star, a Canadian author. Um, in fact, it barely has an American in the entire cast. So far, the film has won some strong reviews, with praise for its use of 3D, and for Ang Lee's versatility as a director, a man who continues to reinvent himself with each film he makes. Life of Pi doesn't open in cinemas until next month, but it's an accessible, thoughtful movie that should appeal to a broad range of filmgoers. It's also expected to pick up recognition in the coming awards season, especially for the way in which it's been crafted.